It's so annoying, sorry. So once a person has sustained a spinal cord injury, um, first of all, oh, another thing I forgot to tell you about is um, psychosocial. It is, it is hugely traumatic to go from being an able-bodied moving person to now being confined to a wheelchair. And especially if you are a young, healthy person and now all of a sudden you're faced with being unable to move, that's very, very devastating. So a lot of psychosocial stuff. People can go on to still get married, um, still have you know healthy sexual relationships, um, but it requires a lot of, um, of good support and a lot of effort. So, but it's definitely doable. There's a lot of, um, a lot of people who are spinal cord injured that um, are doing really well. So um, the other things that we, I just want to touch base on is um, brain death. Going back to your um, uh, head injury patients, um, those are the patients. I think we talked about this um, with strokes, but but your brain death patients are the ones where the um, intracranial swelling gets so high and it's unable, we're unable to fix it, and so and they herniate their brain. Um, and so know the signs and symptoms of brain death. Basically, apnea, they will not breathe. They will for sure be in a coma. Um, they will still have um, brain waves. So if you do, um, uh, they will have some brain activity, but they won't have any, um, they won't have any brainstem reflexes. So they won't, they won't have a gag reflex. They won't have corneal reflex. So those are some ways that you figure out that a patient has, is brain dead. And then those patients um, can go on the organ donor list if, they, if they're healthy and their organs are healthy, and they can donate those organs to other people. So, um, you know, that's, that is one nice thing that in tragic situations when you're going to lose one patient, they can sometimes be able to, to donate their organs. Um, so I think that is all I wanted to tell you about. Um, make sure that you know the Glasgow Coma Scale because when your patient comes in with a head injury, um, you do have to know the Glasgow Coma Scale. Less than eight, uh, if you get a score of less than eight, that's not a good sign. Your long-term outcomes with that might not, probably aren't gonna be great. Um, Cause you'll remember that, that a normal is 15 and a person whose brain dead is gonna be at about a three. Um, so make sure that, that you study that, and then um, I think that's it. So you know, make sure that you know the um, site, like how to assess somebody with a uh, brain injury, head injury, or spinal cord injury. Um, some things to watch for: headaches, seizures, um, vision changes, um, personality changes. Like I said, it's it's going to matter where in the brain has gotten damaged. So uh, I think that's it. So kind of look over in the books of some of those things that I talked about. And then um, next time we will do the brain infections, like the meningitis and stuff. So, okay, have a good one.